and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Jodie, if you're new here. If you are new here, and this is the first video that you are watching, please excuse the do. Now, I underestimated how wet it is outside. So I've just been for a little walk with Charlie B, who now smells like a wet dog. He did have his coat on so his body's dry, it's just his little head. Yeah, so it got absolutely soaking wet through. All my sleeves are wet as well and I don't understand because I did, I did have a coat on, believe it or not. But yeah, my legs are wet, everything's, everything's wet. So, happy Saturday, welcome back. This weekend is my first weekend of freedom from having Covid. So I've now had a negative lateral flow and I am absolutely buzzing. So, obviously me and Charlie B went for a walk this morning so it was just nice to get like fresh air and like move my legs because I've just obviously been stuck inside for oh I can't believe where this jumper is. Obviously I've just been stuck inside for like the last week. It's not been pleasant. First weekend of freedom and I thought I'd vlog the experience. <laughs> not that it's gonna be anything super crazy, you know me, not a big social butterfly. But yeah, just thought I'd bring you along as always. I'm just gonna have some breakfast because me and my baby boy are going to the gym. Got two weeds fix I'm gonna put with my protein shake, uh, I've got a little coffee there, and then I'm gonna have this very quickly and then sort myself out, get ready, and go to the gymnasium. I am so excited, you do not understand. I have not been to the gym in so long. Just need to release some endorphins. Me and Baby Boy were supposed to be going on, going on a date night tonight, but this weather is not looking promising, babes. I don't even mind it being cold, I just hate it being wet because you do your hair and like what's the point? I think I need some walking pants or something to keep my legs dry because going for that little walk earlier there in my leggings, I was soaked through to the skin, to the bone and it was not a vibe. Seeing as I've just been really ill as well, like you would think that I would probably dress a little more appropriately. Am I now wearing shorts to go to the gym? Uh, absolutely. Am I an idiot? Absolutely. Right, so I know I talk about contraception a lot, but I feel like it's helpful for my girls to know my experiences. Yeah, so obviously, if you don't know, I'm on the um, depo injection, the contraceptive injection. It does not agree with me. I have come to learn, and I already knew this fact. But yeah, I still went and had the contraceptive injection again, hoping and praying that it wouldn't have a, a, a massive effect on me. However, it would appear it still does. I cannot wait for this four month period to be up because you have it every four months if you don't already know. And I cannot wait for this injection to be gone out of my body completely. At the beginning of last year, obviously when I first started my YouTube and started my vlogs and stuff, I was the happiest person you would ever meet. Like, I, I forgot, I'd forgotten what it was like to be unhappy, which was, for me to be able to say that was just incredible. I was just so happy. I, I, didn't, I didn't really compare myself to others as much as I do now. There's just so many aspects uh, that of, my, of my life and how happy I was that right now, I don't feel like that person anymore and I haven't done for a little while now and I've tried to hide it, I've tried to ignore it but I have found myself on days where I just, I don't want to get out of bed. Like, for a girl of 26, I've got my own house, I've got I found the love of my life, I have everything to be happy about. That is not right, like that is not, it's not okay. So if you are, if you find yourself at a point where you are unhappy all the time, maybe take a look at your contraception if you are on any, because I know full well that it is the depo injection that's making me feel these feelings and making me feel the way I do, which I just think is really, really sad. But the happy thing about it is, I don't get me wrong, I have my happy days, like, I'm happy now. I've been happier, like, just in myself and self-confident and it, it's really, really weird. I have these days where I just hit, hit, no, I don't want to say that, I don't want to say that, no. One, like, major, major positive in this is that I know that that's what it is and I am due my next injection in January, which I will not be participating in thank you very much so I'm coming off that I am coming off it sisters and I can't wait because yeah the last few months of 2021 that I 
just did not feel myself and still don't feel myself 100% the way I know I can, like the way I know that I can be so, so happy and I cannot wait to feel them feelings again. I'm very, very excited. The last time that I went, I did go to the doctors and explain that this was the way that the injection was making me feel. The only thing that they could offer me was antidepressants. But I, and, and I ummed and ahed, and I did go and collect them from, a, from the chemist. This was a, a little while ago now, because, because of how low I felt, I was desperate. But then when I really thought about it and I spoke to my mum, I decided that I wasn't gonna take them because I, I don't want to rely on a tablet to, to, to make me feel, I, I don't think they make you feel happy. I feel like they just, I mean, I don't really know a lot about uh, about antidepressants, so I don't really want to go too far into something that I don't really know anything about. But from what I, from the little information that I do know, I spat them when I said that, did you see that? From the little information that I do know, I feel like they just block your feelings out completely. So yeah, it's good because they're blocking out the, the bad feelings, the sad feelings. But then I think they'll also do the same with any happy feelings that you might have. I feel like they'll just like mask them as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd like update you there on my contraceptive scenario. But I cannot wait for this awful, awful substance to have left my body for good because it's not good for JB. My boys, on a little hike. When we set off, my hair was absolutely stunning. Still stunning now, my love. Yeah, right. Good morning, my loves. Happy Sunday. I'm just out on a little walk with my boys. Hi, Charlie. Hey. They hate the vlog. So we've just come for a little walk up Rivington this morning, which, fun fact, is where we had our very first oh, it is. meet. This is the same like, route that we came as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the very same route that we came. I've got the same coat on, same, <laughs> same hat. hat. So, now, yeah. Just uh, reliving the first day. Well, yeah, that day was absolute torrential rains, wasn't it? It's not as bad today, is it? Really? No, it's rained a little bit, but like for a very first meet, like they were not the not the vibes we, we needed no. really. Her was a mess. It wasn't exactly. And that I'd was just you. It wasn't what I'd pictured the first date to be. But we didn't mind it too much. We, we really enjoyed ourselves, didn't we? we but did. we got to like this part, so you can't see it right now, but the the top is over there, and we got to where we are now. And we stopped, didn't we? We turned back. Because it was coming sideways, the rain. Yeah. Right? And my hat was very nearly blowing off. Yeah. And that would have not been not been a vibe. A Baby boy would never have seen JB ever again, would you? <laughs> but yeah, we've been very, very lazy lately. Don't we? We're not very lazy. We've been to the gym, but we've not really... Couch potatoes. Yeah, we've not moved our legs much lately. So we just wanted to get out, stretch our legs. Bit of fresh air. Yeah, we used to come here all the time as well, didn't we? Yeah. And we've not been for ages. To be fair, December was a busy month, so we're back. 2022. Loving life. Loving life. We're going to get extra fit this year, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's stunning. We did want to get here for sunrise, but could not get baby boy out of bed this morning. <laughs> I got up, I had my cold shower. Oh. And he was not for getting out of bed. The lazy, lazy monkey. <laughs> Jokes. That was me. You don't need to do anything, you just need to hold it. Are you I've recording? Record, yeah. Do you know how to control that dog? <laughs> what can you see, Charlie? Oh, we might get this on vid. Something in your mouth there, wasn't it? Oh, remember that time we came and um, came that early and there was uh, all the people with yoga mats oh and they carried them up to the top it's a good idea that well we'll do some press ups at the top then if you want no, you, right. you sure yeah i've got charlie <laughs> i'll watch him <laughs> loving life aren't you jb It's really bouncing it down. I know. Has <laughs> Ty gone in or? 
A little at home Nando's, a bit of Mexican spice rice and some hello mate. Stunning. Good morning my angels, happy Saturday. So you have got here two weekends in one vlog because last weekend's vlog was not long enough. It was not long enough for a full vlog, 10 minutes is not enough. But yeah, I never actually ended last week's vlog so here we are. I've been back in work for a full week and um, obviously the last vlog I had COVID and honestly like I know we all mourn about work and having to get all up and go to work but having a routine is the best thing ever. I was at home all day every day and it was so boring and like I didn't even look forward to the weekend as much as I normally would because it was just going to be the same as every other day. Whereas it's Saturday now, obviously I've been at work all week so I've been really looking forward to this weekend and yeah, so this weekend what I'm going to do is uh, this house needs a massive spring clean, this room is a complete and utter mess and I'm really embarrassed about that right now but look girls, we are realistic over here on this channel, I am relatable. We're not all pristine all the time. Look at the state. So this room is gonna get a good clean and tidy. My back bedroom, which I keep going on about and I've still not tackled it yet. We're gonna clean that out today. I've got some more coursework to do. And yeah, we're just gonna have a cute little day at home, huns. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've had an amazing week. I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. I booked to get my hair done. You know when I said I was, I was gonna go a little bit darker? So I'm having my hair done, not next, not next weekend, the weekend after. So gals, we're gonna have a transformation. Like I was saying earlier in the vlog, which was last week, I've not been feeling 100%, I've not been feeling like myself, I've not been feeling great. So I think a massive change with my hair is gonna make me feel tons better. I feel like just a little change like that can just lift your mood, make you feel absolutely stunning and sensational. with this room it's just shit everywhere it's just everywhere I've got blinds in here that have not yet been put up they need putting up stuff in boxes I am a lazy bitch I should have done this a long time ago tidy out is in full swing and I've got a couple of boxes here that my dad brought up for me and the boxes are filled with stuff that's been left at my dad's office I've not lived at my dad's for a few years now so there is some stuff in here and you know when you're like it's very very nostalgic and you know when you're having a bit of a clean and tidy up and you come across stuff that you've not seen for years absolutely stunning gold plated playboy <laughs> playboy watch I'm just gonna get a, a new battery for this uh, and then we're good to go. Also, let's just appreciate little JB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that face. Oh my God, I cannot stop laughing. How cute. Look at this guy and his little boat. Honestly, I love looking out of this back bedroom window. I'm such a nosy bitch. Why is my car in the other one that's not got any sun in it? So the back room is more or less finished now. It's still, there's still a lot going on sisters. There's a lot going on in that room, but there's nothing I can do. And then I decided to move on to my bedroom because, and I was always like this at my mum's, I was always moving my furniture around in my bedroom because I get bored, like I get really bored really easy. And like my bedroom, just the feng shui was just, it was all off, it was not, I was not feeling it. Obviously the bed was here and I've now moved it to here. If we can just ignore this little mess going on out here, let's close that, thank you. I didn't think it was gonna fit, and it is a squeeze, don't get me wrong. Do I have a teddy on my bed? Yes, I do. Am I 26 years old? Yes, I am. But I just like the thought of waking up and just looking out the window there. So I fancied a little switcheroonie in, in here, and it, and it feels a lot bigger 
I really, really like it. The issue, oh, a little bit of boob there. Sorry about that. The issue now is that I've got no plug sockets on either side of my bed. So I'm gonna have to nip out now and get some extension leads. Do you know what? I love coming to bed with a little cup of tea. Like I used to do that at my mum's all the time. And now I get in bed and it's straight to sleep. I mean, being an adult, is that what you're supposed to do? Because I like to put Family Guy on with a with a little cup of tea and just watch that in bed. Anyway, the issue is that I don't have a aerial, like an aerial point in this room. I've only just noticed. There's one in the front bedroom, in the dressing room. Not one in here. I'm, I'm already so much happier with it, honestly. I was gonna film me like doing the whole switch around and moving the bed honeys i am sweating it was a lot i was <laughs> i got halfway through the bed was like diagonal across the room and i was thinking what have i done what what have i done so i managed to do it but, oh, i'm really happy with it like i'm already excited to get in bed tonight oh, how old am i so yeah i'm buzzing with it the only issue is obviously it's a little bit of a tight squeeze so i measured how long it would be with my tape measure from obviously this bedside table to this bedside table uh, I measured it before I moved it and I knew before I moved it it wouldn't fit but I did it anyway I just didn't believe the tape measure I thought it must be wrong one slight issue if we're coming in and out of this bedroom we need to be very very careful not to open the door too wide I'm feeling very very productive I'm so glad I've done this got a few little Christmas decorations that need going into the attic I've got I've got rid of so much stuff like I've got a few bin bags downstairs that need going to the tip but I feel cleansed. I feel very, very happy. Right, so it's hard to now. So I'm going to nip to B&M and get some extension leads so that I can plug my little bedside lamps in. Good morning, my loves. Happy Sunday. When I got in bed last night, I was reflecting. I was just having a little bit of time to myself, just sitting and thinking. And I know we're two weeks into, or two or three, two or three weeks. I don't know why I've checked my watch. <laughs> two or three weeks into the new year. But... I've spent a lot of time thinking negative thoughts, thinking very, very negatively. And I'm not quite sure why. I was thinking back to where I was in my life in January last year. I was in a very, very, very different place. I was single. Obviously, I still lived at home with my mum. There was no, like, obviously, I knew I wanted to move out um, and buy my own house. But never did I think that in 12 months time from then that I would be in the place I am now so I was just reflecting and just trying to be kind to myself and think positively and think I need to not be so hard on myself so January last year as cringy and as cliche as it might sound I was on like a self-discovery journey um which like I say is a journey that I'm still on now. I really, really started to find myself. Oh God, that's so cringe. I did, I was, I think we were in lockdown. So with lockdown, it really, really made us appreciate the smaller things in life because everything was stripped away from us. Like everything was taken away and we had really had to appreciate the smaller things. So for me, it was like going for walk, it did me the world of good. And it really, really helped me become who I, who I am today. You really need to prioritize you and find out who you are and what you want from life in order to then meet someone and bring them into your life. And I feel like the luckiest girl in the world to have met my baby boy. And I know this is so cringy. We are the same person, we are so similar. and. We support each other, we help each other grow. That's so important. With relationships, you really do have to wait until the right person comes along. And if you put the time and effort into yourself, that right person will come along eventually. If I hadn't prioritized myself the way I did, do things for me, find out who I am and do things that I love, I don't think I would have met my baby boy. My point is, this year is the year for you. Prioritize yourself, just don't, do things to please other people. Don't be a yes man. If there's something that you don't want to do or you're not comfortable with, don't do it. I've always had this thing where whenever I'm blowing my candles out now, you know you light your candles, and whenever I blow my candles out, I always make a wish. Now I know you should only do that on your birthday, but I do it every night. I always used to make the same wish. Now I can't tell you what that wish is because it might, well, it, it, it already has come true. I have this new ritual, right? <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, 
And what I do, when I'm ready to go to bed, I switch the telly off and I, I kneel. Come over here where my candles are. These candles here. Kneel down. And before I blow my candles out, I sit and I think about all the things that I'm grateful for. I close my eyes and I sit and think about how grateful I am for my health, for my family, for my house, and all the things that I've achieved so far in my life. And then, and then I make a wish. And then I blow my candles out. And it just makes me sit and just appreciate and just take it all in and think, just like to end my day on a positive note. And if I've had a bit of a shit day, it just groans me and makes me think that, you know, there's always someone worse off. Things could be, could, things could be worse and things are always gonna get better. I don't know a lot about uh, the law of attraction or manifestation. I don't know. I don't know enough about it to have like a major conversation over it. But I do really, really believe that if you think positive thoughts and you think about what you really, really, really want, I do think it comes. I really, really do. I think within reason. Um, obviously, if you just think I just want to be rich, I want to be rich, I want to be rich. I don't think that that that's not going to work. You need to think about what you might want to do to become rich if that's really really what you want um, and how you're going to go about it and your plan. Obviously this year I really really want to prioritise my career so obviously I am training to be a PT and I'm going to put all my hard work, time and energy into this because this is what I want. Charlie's just having a little drink. On my little walk with my bestie earlier um, we were talking about like careers and I really think that if there is something that you really want to do, just go for it. it. Charlie, it's never ever too late. Think about what you're really, really good at. Think about what you really, really enjoy doing. What are you passionate about? Um, in order to enjoy your job, you've got to have some sort of satisfaction from it and feel proud of yourself for doing whatever it is that you're doing. I, when I was at school, I did not know what I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to be an actress. That was it. I want to be an actress. But I never really followed it through and never really went for it. I saw, I listened to other people and at the end of the day, if there's something that you know you're good at or something that you know you're going to love, don't let other people change your mind. If your heart is really, really going to be into something, then just go for it. The only regret that you would have is not trying something. Because obviously with this PT thing, I was back and forth. Do I want to do it? Do I not? And for years, I've been talking about doing it. Um, well for about two years I have and I feel like I wish now as two years ago I'd, I'd got gone into it but I feel like now is the right time for me to do this and that's why I'm so glad I'm doing it but yeah sorry honeys we got a little bit deep there uh, but I just feel like I had some things I wanted to get off my chest when I was like laying in bed last night I was thinking where I am now from where I was 12 months ago I've come so far so I want you to think about where you were 12 months ago and how far you've come and what you've achieved in the last 12 months and be proud of yourself for what you've done. I do just get caught up sometimes in thinking, like comparing my, myself to other people. I've told you this before that I do this. And I'm 26, I should be I should be doing this, I should be doing that. Everybody is on their own path. And the people you're comparing yourself to, they'll be comparing themselves to someone else. We all do it. It's just the way that our minds work. And you've just got to focus on you and focus on your own journey. Put your phone away and think about, obviously watch my video first. <laughs> do that and then put your phone away. And just think about like, what you're capable of and what you can do. Just pinpoint your best attributes and think about what careers would be suited to them. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm gonna stop talking now because <laughs> I know I say this in every vlog, I'm absolutely starving and I have got some salmon in the oven as we speak. And I've got such a headache as well. Honestly, since having COVID, I've got like a constant headache. Your girl is not well. I have got the worst period pains in the entire world. And I know I talk about periods and contraception <laughs> way more than I should. And this, I feel like this is all that this vlog has consisted of. I haven't got any paracetamol in. I've only got ibuprofen. It's just not the same. This is, this is my first period since going back on the injection last year. And obviously I've come off it now. So this is my first period in a very long time. And I think that that's why it feels so much worse. This is the best angle I have ever seen, by the way. 
Okay, my loves, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've had an amazing week. I hope that you and your families are all keeping safe and well and happy. Go over to my Instagram and follow me. It's at jodeb underscore. Go into this next week, smashing your goals and working towards your dreams. And I'll see you in next week's video. Bye. Mwah.